welcome again to my workshop. So today we're going to cut that eagle into this piece of oak on our machine. So we'll get straight into it. Uh, we'll actually put the first file into Mac 3, uh, which is a, a 12 millimeter end mill uh, tool. And um, there's a full depth cut. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, I've brought the 12 millimeter tool now over, over to the center of the material. It's actually offset slightly uh, because I'm in danger of actually breaking through uh, the material here because this is sort of uh, a segment of a circle. So what we're going to do now is set the uh, Z height with the automatic uh, setting tool here. And to do that on this pendant you just press FN and 9. Set this on top of the material, wait for the tool to come down and it'll automatically set the, z the zero height of the tool in relation to the work into Mark 3. because uh, this PT6012 uh, did this roughing cut um, in exactly, what, can I read it from you? 12 minutes and 10 seconds. And I can tell you now, um, I mean, I wasn't re even really pushing it. Um, and that was at least four times quicker than uh, the old machine. So um, yeah, this this new machine is really really good, really quick. Okay, so I put the um, two millimeter ball, tapered ball mill. Now, when I say two millimeter, it's uh, that's a, a one millimeter radius, which is two millimeter diameter ball on the bottom and it's a, it tapers up to six millimeter or just a little bit over a quarter of an inch uh, at the top here and it's 40 45 millimeters in length the cutting edge okay so uh, this is now going to run 24,000 rpm its operational cut is at uh, 100 millimeters a second or four inches a second but uh, it will slow up a bit when it picks up uh, in in the Z um, that's its maximum uh, should we say cutting speed set um, so we'll see how long it takes for this tool to complete this job so here we go I've got this actually set at 10% at the moment. I always like to start off very slowly and then uh, I'll ramp up the, the feed rate as the when I'm satisfied that the tool is doing the right thing. doing the right thing, so I'll 
We're going to turn on the dust extraction unit and let it run. close up. Um, what I want to point out actually you might be able to see it. I think I better improve the lighting a bit. Okay I think that's better. Now you might be able to see uh, on the leading edge of the wings here and in between uh, in between the, the, the feathers you might be able to see a, a tool marks uh, and there's a slight bit of dare I say feathering uh, that requires some finishing by hand um, but nevertheless or well, it's distinctive there uh, in between the toes or claws um, nevertheless it's a very good or presentable reproduction now let me just show you now what I want to say about this is if you remember in at cam when we was putting the finishing tool path together I set the step over at 0 0.3 of a millimeter well, that is the finish. 
uh, with a 0 0.3 step over. Now then, I'll just get another example. Now this example was cut on the PT6012. Um, and this, if you know, I'll bring it up real close so I hopefully the camera is, is picking that up. You can't see any tool marks, there's no feathering. This is how it comes off the machine. And this is set at 0 0.24 millimeter step over. Now, as you can imagine, it will take slightly longer. Um, this one actually takes uh, a good three hours to cut. This one an hour and a half. So there is some trade-offs uh, with um, finish and time. So if you don't want to do any hand finishing um, then you need to put the step over, okay, step over the tool at uh, 0 0.24 or 25, somewhere around about there. But if you notice, um, if you look back in my video, I think the video that I did those horses is um, 823, either 822 or 823. Uh, you got the full process of that cam and um, the, the machining of that uh, and of course you've got the same now with this and you can compare the two um, something else I will tell you is this example is probably the best example you would get on my other machine which has still been highly modified um, but it would have taken to do the same process as this, whereas this 6012 has taken an hour and 36 minutes, I think, to cut this uh, to, a, to a finish. My other machine, to get this result even, would have taken a little over three hours. So that's the difference. The 6012 from Pacific Tooling is an industrial machine. It is one that you are going to make a profit on. Um, a machine that you purchase from, well, another, shall we say, uh, manufacturer. Well, I've shown you what the differences are. Uh, if you look back in my uh, my videos, uh, this new machine will do it twice as quick and twice a better job so i hope you've uh, liked this video of cutting the eagle today in a piece of firewood that's all it is a piece of firewood oak and uh it's quite surprising, actually. Uh, you know, if you if you if you finish this in in either cedar oil or linseed oil, you know, and just um, if you put it down, it looks like a piece of firewood. If you turn it around, spectacular difference. But um, I, I've done this as strictly as a demonstration uh, of finish. I wanted to show you uh, the step over, the result of. Uh, 0 0.3 um, to 0 0.24 step over so step over makes a big difference so anyway if you've liked this video please press like subscribe um, little red box down there press on that that will take you to my YouTube station or channel uh, where there's now 185 videos ranging from CNC routers, Mark III, NC Studio, um, Atcam, 
uh, I'm going to do quite a lot uh, for the rest of this year now with ArtCam and the new program, ArtCam Standard. Um, I might even uh, do more with uh, 3D printing. Uh, I think that's a, a thing of the future for us anyway. Um, and I also do a lot of wood turning videos. That's doing very, very well. Thank you for, for supporting that. And um, I do other shop jobs and uh, tooling. I'm sure there's something there to, uh, to interest you. Uh, incidentally, I, I've just tripped over to seven, uh, 27 million downloads. Uh, thank you guys. It's absolutely fantastic outcome. Um, so, until next time. Bye for now.